duration of bond what is meant by duration of bond duration of bond is the time period a time period for which the holder of a bond must wait to receive present value of cash flows so every bond generates some cash flow and the duration is that time period for which the holder of the bond must wait to receive present value of the cash flows now these cash flows are in the form of coupon amounts or these cash flows are in the form of maturity value or the face value to be received on maturity duration is expressed in terms of time period normally in years for example if we say that duration of a 3 year 6% half yearly bond with face value of rupees 1000 is 2.77 years what does it mean it means that total amount to be received over these 3 years would be rupees 1180 1000 rupees the face value to be received on maturity and 180 amount of coupons to be received in 3 years so it means that total amount to be received over 3 years of 1180 will be just equal to receiving 1180 at the end of 2.77 years as one time payment which is called bullet payment so instead of receiving this payment in installments over 3 years if this amount is received as a bullet payment so this will be equal to that amount if this is received in 2.77 years so i'm repeating the concept duration is the time period which a holder has to wait for to receive present value of cash flows and it is always expressed in terms of number of years another principle which we have to note those bonds which are having higher duration these experience a greater increase in value when market interest rate declines but they also face greater losses when market interest rate rise and vice versa so the bonds which are having higher duration so they are exposed to greater increase value when market interest rate declines and they are exposed to greater losses when market rate interests rise now we shall see the calculation of duration so here is the example here is the case let us read the question carefully bank holds 3 years bond with face value of rupees 1000 the coupon is 6% but it is payable half yearly the current yield is 10% on this bond calculate the duration on this bond here we know that annual coupon is 60 rupees so 6% of 1000 hence it will be rupees 30 per half year because amount is payable half yearly so it means 3 years are equal to 6 half years so for this coupon amount is concerned 3 years are divided into 6 half years so here we have the period in terms of 6 half years so this is first half this completes 1 year this is 1 and 1/2 years this completes 2 years this is 2 and 1/2 years this is completing 3 years and this is amount of coupon in the last year that is here the holder will get maturity value also the face value also along with this coupon amount now let us discount this amount or let us calculate present value of this coupon so this is the present value factor 
so we take these values from the value tables so for half year the factor is 0.952381 and so on now we shall calculate present value so column 2 multiplied by column 3 this gives, gives us the present value of the bond so this multiplied by this gives us value 28 rupees 57 pesa so 30 multiplied by this it gives the value 27.21 so this multiplied by this gives us the value 25.92 this multiplied by this gives the value 24.68 this multiplied by this gives the value 2351 so this multiplied by this gives the value 76860 when we add amount of face value to 30 so here we are actually multiplying 1030 to this and it gives us this amount so these are the present values so present values are nothing but the price so when we add it up we are able to calculate the price of the bond so this is the present value of the bond now we shall be able to calculate duration on the basis of this so here we have present value divided by price so present value at the end of six month is 2857 price is 898.49 so this divided by price gives us this value so 27.21 divided by 898.49 it gives us this value and so on so we are getting these values and when we add it up it comes to 1 now based on this we are now able to calculate the duration so duration is equal to present value divided by price into period so what we are going to do here so 1 multiplied by 5 so now this 1 it will be multiplied by this so this we are taking this we are taking so these two will be multiplied so let us make the calculation so 0 0.0318 multiplied by 0 0.50 give us this value for at the end of one year we get this value so 0 0.0303 multiplied by 1 it gives us this value and so on now we add this value <coughs> so when we add this value this is the duration in years 2.78 years that is how we can calculate the duration now in duration there is another concept called modified duration so modified duration it gives us more close percentage change in the market value due to change in yield and McAloy derived this concept of modified duration so it is expressed as DM now how to calculate modified duration it is too simple so once we are able to calculate the duration we can convert the duration to modified duration so modified duration is equal to duration into 1 into 1 plus rate of interest that is how we can calculate the modified duration here I represents interest in our previous question the duration was calculated 2.77 now we can calculate modified duration so duration is 
multiplied by 1 multiplied by 1 plus 8 of interest that is 1.06 so this is modified duration 2.62 years is the modified duration thank you friends for watching this video